Hi everyone. Today we have a special pick a card, pick a pile reading. I'm about to pull the last blind card. This, these are all blind pulls, but I'm about to pull the last card, which will be what you guys want to choose from. So this is going to be, what do people love about you? It could be a group of people. It could be a specific person. It could be general, whatever you want. You can assign each pile to a specific person, group, whatever, or you can just watch one. Either way, thank you so much for being here. So, for you can pass forward too if you don't want to watch the shuffle part. But yeah, what do these people love about you, who you are? What is it that you've shown them that just captivates them and makes them feel, you know, honored to be in your presence? <laughs> okay, so the cards we have the Emperor. Card number one, we have the Emperor. Nice. Card number two, we have the Eight of Swords. Wow, red, red. Card number three, four of cups. More red on this card. That's crazy. And the last one, queen of swords, the blue. <laughs> card number four. All right, so I will let you choose your pile and I'll see you in your reading. Bye, guys. Hi, card number one. Again, you chose the Emperor card. So I may call you card number one, group one, pile one. It all means the same thing, okay? Thank you so much for being here. What do people love about you? Abundance. Oh, abundance. Queen of Wands. Okay. House 10. The Chariot. The Knight of Pentacles. Wow. The Four of Cups. The Four of Wands. What do people love about you? Wow. Seven of Wands. And finally, the Ace of Cups. What do people love about you? Group number one, card number one, the Emperor, our Emperors. <laughs> oh my God, you are a boss. Like, you are a boss. People think that you are a boss. They say that you are hot as well. Like, people find you physically attractive. Um, there's something about your eyes. Maybe you have tattoos that people, like, really love, particularly on your hands. You could have highlights or, like, blonde hair. Your hair could be particularly long, maybe wavy. If not, maybe you wear hats that people love. If you're a woman watching this, people love the way you do your makeup. Um, if you have any moles, freckles, beauty marks, people love that about you physically as well. But they also feel like you're very creative um, and you're the type of person to like make people come to you. Um, and it's not in like a shady way. It's in a way where you know everything that you bring to the table and you're also just very chill. Like people find you to be very chill despite maybe your job, maybe you have a high... Um, like a very important job or maybe it takes up a lot of your time but when you're not working like i'm hearing you work as hard as you play um people also admire you because they feel like you are just you're so responsible they feel like you bring a lot of structure they admire your career 
or maybe the path that they see you envision you going on. Maybe you're someone that just talks about your dreams as if you're already there. You know what I mean? Despite where you're at, like people just feel like you're going to achieve whatever you put your mind to. Um, And it's not just because you have the structure and discipline, but because you're very patient. People admire your patience. People admire your dedication, but they also feel like you have a really big heart. I'm also seeing that people feel very comfortable around you. Um, Maybe you have a home that you invite people to, or there's just a space that you and your friends always kick it at or something where you guys just chill and have a good time. I'm also seeing that this could be a pile for some stoners here, a, a, but um, maybe you don't, you don't have to be. Maybe you were like, um, you were in a past life or you were like once upon a time, but you're not no more. Now, that also makes me feel like people admire you because a lot of people have really good memories with you. Um, They could be fun, but I'm getting more so just like, like you're the type of person, someone could be having a really bad day and then they hang around you and like somehow you just make their day better. They feel like you have a really big heart. Um, They're just proud to hear all of your accomplishments or they feel like you're going to accomplish a lot. They feel like you have a strong purpose. There's something very stable about you. I'm really getting that with this pile, like people feel at home with you. You could just have like an old soul type of type of energy. And I don't mean that like in a grandpa old soul. I mean that just like you could be like eight years old and people that were friends with you always like thought you acted 35. You know what I mean? Like a grown woman, a grown man, but in a good way. Um, people feel like you know what is right and what is wrong for you. So Even if people really want to get to know you, they recognize that they have to put in the work and they admire that about you. I'm seeing fire and water. So you could have fire and water in your chart. You don't have to. But I'm also feeling big Taurus energy. We have the chariot here. So you could also have Cancer, the Emperor, maybe Aries placements, House 10, um, maybe 10th House or Capricorn for those that are looking for that extra confirmation. But keep in mind, even if you don't have those placements, these are the qualities that people see in you. Now, in addition to this, I keep saying... You could really meet people that are very depressed or sad, down and out, and they just feel like you innately understand them. People feel like you know, despite where you are right now, people feel like you know what it is to be misunderstood, to be left out, to be sad, to long for someone, to grieve. Um, People feel like you have lived an experienced life, yet it doesn't show. So maybe your skin is like very great. Maybe you just look young for your age, which is crazy, right? Because you have an old soul, but you look very young and lively. You could have a very fun spirit to you. But it's like the sort of thing that people have to get to know you to experience. And it's not that you have a hard exterior. I'm not necessarily getting that. But I do feel like people are a little bit intimidated by you because you're not easily swayed, right? And, And people admire that about you because they feel like they could really take like a page out of your book on how clear cut you are, how how much of a boss you are. Yeah, I just feel like with this certain group, this card, this pile, people feel like you are a boss. They really appreciate that. And yeah, they just want to learn everything that you could teach them. Yeah, you humble people, but in the best way. So thank you so much for being here. I'll leave some more links in the description box below for you to see more pick a card, pick a pile readings on my channel, as well as 12 signs monthly love readings for your sun, moon, Venus, and or seventh house placement. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye. Hi, group two. You chose the eight of swords. So if I call you group two, pile two, card two, just know it all means the same spiel here. But yeah, thank you for being here. We're going to see what do people love about you? Oh, okay. What do they love about group number two? Nothingness. Okay. The star. Aw. I like the the star. What else do they love? Sagittarius. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands. What do they love about Group Two, the Hermit? What do they love about Group Two, the Five of Cups? What do they love about group two? Temperance. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Wow, you have so many major arcana right there. Center of your reading. What do they love about you? Group two, queen of pentacles. Oh, that's interesting. What do they love about group two? The lovers. Wow. 
Okay, what do they love about group number two? I just want to say, I wish I could give group number two, like, the biggest hug ever. Maybe that's something you feel like you've needed for a while, group number two. Like, just, oh, I'm getting teary-eyed. Um, just, like, a big hug and, like, for someone to tell you it's going to be okay or, like, they're proud of you for, like, everything you've accomplished, everything that you've came from. I'm hearing, like, Dark Knight of the Soul. What I mean by that is I feel like group number two, what people love about you is that you wear your heart on your sleeve. And what I mean by that, it doesn't mean that you are like a hopeless romantic or like people people um, find you to be like super romantic or like vulnerable in that way. But just you're very transparent with people about the things that you've been through, the anxieties you feel, the stress you go through. Um, and you may feel like maybe you thought this whole time, like people thought you had this like victim mentality or something because of it, but it's not that at all. Um, people find you to just heal them just by how honest you are about the things you go through. So keep that up genuinely. What people admire about you is that you have this power within you to look deeper at the things that scare you. When most people would choose to live in blissful ignorance, when most people would run away from their problems, when most people would stand in fear or never change, um, you know, that job or that divorce, that person that was not meant for them or whatever. People see you as someone that knows that you just need to do the right thing. Like there's something about you where it's like, you've been down, like you've really been down. This is um, what people admire about you, group number two, card number two. You have came up from like the gutter. Like you, you came from nothing. You may have really humble beginnings. People admire your hopefulness. People feel like you have a healing spirit to you. Animals may be really, really, really attracted to you. Um, in terms of your physical appearance, you may have like um, tattoos on your thighs, your legs, and or like if you're a woman, you could have an, one under your boobs, like your breast area, or something on your forearm. People feel like you have this like look on your face sometimes where it's like they can't tell what you're thinking but they know you have like so much within you so people are, are kind of mesmerized by you um and maybe you're like no people always tell me i have resting bee face no um it's actually people are quite puzzled by you but they think that you always look like you're in deep thought like you're always dreaming about something i mean they admire that about you people feel like you're very introverted um, so it's almost like once they get to know you with that lover's energy, it's like a pleasure. It's a pleasure to get to know you deeper. Um, the more people get to know you, the more they, they learn that you're just so humble and you may look really good in the color yellow. You could be, um, on the like LGBT part of that community. People really admire your ability to be out and proud. Um, I'm also getting, you could... Maybe you do something with children or you love children. People feel like you would be a great parent or a good teacher. Um, not even because like that's your interest, but just because you teach people things without even trying. People find you to be very loyal, very patient, um, yet kind of in your own world. You may be a really great swimmer or love water. When people think of you living your best life, they imagine you maybe like on a beach or in space or just alone, like so people understand that you need space. They love that you have boundaries and let people know when you need that space and time. People feel like you're very patient and so they try to be very patient with you. They also feel like you've been through a lot um, and so they admire your humbleness and your kindness for that reason. Maybe the things you've been through are very public, like maybe you lost a mother figure growing up or a sister or something like that. Um, people see that there is a sort of sadness to you that you don't shy away from. You don't hide it. And they admire that in you. People feel like, despite that though, that you're very optimistic. You're always willing to learn and try new things. When people meet you, they feel like they they were looking for someone like you their whole life. They feel like you have a way of connecting to them and making them feel seen and heard and loved. And oh, I just keep seeing like rainbows, roses, sunshine, like... Um, 
you make people happy genuinely you make people happy um and you might feel like you're around a lot of people that have everything that they've ever wanted i find myself speaking so like quiet and like um calm in this pile and i wasn't on that energy with the last pile right so i just feel like you make people feel very calm in your presence um yet people find you to be very quick at the same time like your mind may work very quickly or maybe you do something with your hands very quickly like you can if you're a reader you shuffle your cards very quickly people love that about you maybe you always have your nails done or maybe you have a snake uh, i just got that you could really like to hike or be out in nature people love that about you People feel like maybe you run very fast. That could be an energy for you. Or maybe you work out pretty intensely. Um, but it doesn't really... It just feels like natural. Like even if you may be like, oh, I diet very strongly or I work out very hard to have this body. People feel like you just have that body naturally. Um, and so there's just a natural essence to you. People feel like you're very um, humble and respectable. People will respect you. Um, it, this is like the energy they feel like you would never hurt a fly. They would never want to do anything to to harm you right people kind of see you like kind of like a lost child but in a good way like they admire that they admire your ability to like get up after being knocked down and they also admire that when you talk about like your sadness you never like call anybody out you never blame people for the things that you've been through you know you just look deeper at the meaning behind things and they admire that in you because you make them think about things that way as well um, so yeah, that's the energy I, I, I got when I, when I was thinking about this teacher element to you. It's like, without even trying, you get people to see the prisons that they've trapped themselves in, in their mind and the way they think about things. And you make people look deeper at themselves because you're always doing that. The fact that you're in your own world, it's like, you may be around a lot of extroverts or be people, uh, be around people that have a lot of like external defense mechanisms like for example some people maybe this is you when you feel overwhelmed you just like to go home or be in your like own little shell but you may be around a lot of people that when they feel worried or anxious or insecure they get louder or they um are always around other people that don't really have their best intentions and so you make people learn what it is to like truly love themselves first and look deeper at why they do the things they do just because you already do that within you there's something about your eyes as well people are really attracted to your eyes they feel like you could have some sort of like psychic ability to you the star the hermit temperance the lovers like god you're just magnetic you're beautiful you know like pile one i was like they, you're hot like they were hot right but you're there's something beautiful like elegant to you um like ethereal like uh, i don't know like cancer isn't even out but i feel like there's something like just people feel like you would take care of them and so they want to take care of you yeah so thank you so much for being here card number two your energy is just so beautiful i feel like great giving this reading and just seeing yeah i really feel like you've just came from nothing and, and, and you make the most out of um any situation if someone gave you like a, a snickers like you would see it as like the most amazing gift just because you know like they had to take the effort to go and buy it and then hand it to you and say thank you or you know all those things like so yeah, people really appreciate your gratitude and your just great vibe. Like you have a great energy to you. So thank you for being here. I'll leave some more links in the description box below for more pick a card, pick a pile readings for you to watch. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, card number three. You chose the four of cups. Now I may call you card number three, group three, pile three. Just know it all means the same thing. Either way, thank you for being here, and we're going to get into what do people love about you? Four of Cups. Okay, I've done a blind pull, so let's see what the other cards are. What do people love about card number three? Letting go. Mm, letting go. Four of Swords. Mars. Four of Pentacles. What do people love about card number three? The Page of Pentacles. Mm, that's cute. I like that one. What do people love about card number three? Nine of Cups. 
Aw. I just heard you're my everything. What? What do people love about card number three? Four of Pentacles again. This is the first um, group that has gotten two of the same cards coming out here. Four of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. What do people love about card number three? The Seven of Cups. Cute. And finally, last card. What do people love about card number three? The Two of Swords. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> this is an interesting group. One, the first thing that people love about you, card number three, they love your strength. You are strong. People feel like you defend yourself. You speak up for people. Um, they feel like... People feel like you... They feel like you... You have a lot of value to you. Like you always have something to offer. You always have something to offer. You're always willing to give. And I feel like for this specific pile, for a lot of you guys, this is like monetary things. But so you could be very well off or you could just be a very hard worker and you work hard to be able to give back to other people, maybe because you grew up with not having like a lot of money. I feel like for this group, some of you guys may have been like an orphan or lost a parent. I'm sorry if that is the case or lost a very close family member, if not three or four close family members or friends growing up. Um, I'm so sorry if that's the case. I feel like people admire you because you can be a little, uh, odd. You can be a little odd, like, um, but they admire it. They feel like you, you see things kind of, you know, in a way that no one else would. Like, you may say, like, random sayings that just, like, no one would think to say that, you know what I mean? But they, they think it's cute. And, yeah, there's this energy of, like, someone... I just heard teddy bear, yet you're so strong. So maybe you're even like really big or tall or have a lot of muscles or maybe you're a woman and, and um, maybe you feel like you have resting bee face or something. But people just see you as very um, kind um, and, and generous. Yeah, that's the word, generous. Yeah, people see you as very generous and they also see you, you could be kind of quiet. You could have an accent. You could be like wherever you live, like maybe you, you're not originally from there. People like that about you, like that you're not like everyone else. Um, you could have a really big yard or backyard that people enjoy. You could have plants in your home or just always posting yourself in nature. People love that. Um, I'm seeing with this group, you have really nice lips and you also look great in the color red. Uh, with this particular group, if you're a man, people love when you dress up. Like they love the way you look in a suit. A suit. Um, especially if you ever wore like suspenders, people love that. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, for men, you may have like a neck. People like to see your neck. Maybe you have veins that stick out or your Adam's apple like protrudes. Like they feel like that makes you look very manly. Um, if you're a woman or a man, I mean, either maybe you have like reddish hair or red highlights or tones to, to you or your face or your body or something like that. People love that. Um, your hands may be bigger than like, or your arms or your hands may be like a little bit longer than the rest of your body or something, or just a little like not as proportionate, but people like that. They notice it, but they also like it. You can have a small waist. Um, people like that too. Mm. Something about frog. I just heard frog. So maybe the color green is significant here. Um, I'm also seeing these lily pads. So I feel like one thing that people really admire about you Specifically, if they've seen you in, like, really messed up situations. Like, for example, if someone has seen you, like, um, right after you got into, like, a really bad accident, they admire that you didn't even, like, shed a tear or cry or, like, you know, show, like, any fear or whatever. People feel like you're fearless. And it's not because, like, they feel like you don't have those feelings, but, like, they feel like you know what to do in the moment. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, I'm just drawn to this person. They literally have money coming out of their mouth. Like, everything you speak turns to gold. Everything you touch turns into gold. But there's also that Poseidon's um, whatever thing right there and that um, symbol of Neptune there. So people also feel like you're very dreamy. You could be very creative. Um, if you're a woman, you could have long, dark hair. They love that. Um, you could wear your hair in an afro or something. People like that. Your eyebrows in particular, people love that. Maybe even if you wear glasses, like... They like that. And you may feel like, oh, I, I'm, what's that, what's that, um, movie, P P Penelope, Penelope or whatever, um, 
maybe you feel like that or you feel a little insecure about your looks no people people think you have like this cute look to you like you're very cute and um maybe you know don't take that as an insult people think you're very cute like they love it and um yet they feel like you're super strong and you always have something to offer and i'm also getting that people think you're very smart you're very resourceful and what else you are a little bit closed off like with the four of pentacles Oh, I'm sorry. I said Four of Swords. I thought the Four of Pentacles came out twice. Oh, yeah, it did. It did. Four of Pentacles twice. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, you may be a little closed off or people feel like they can't really... It, it takes a while to get to know you. Um, somebody has like a bratty younger sister or maybe you were a brat when you were younger. <laughs> I don't know. But I just heard that. Like some people that know you from when you were a kid, they feel like you used to be like very different. Um, what else am I seeing here? Hmm, you could have three pets. Your birthday could be on the third day of the month or maybe you're born in the third month of the year you could have like older siblings or a lot of younger siblings nine of cups yeah i feel like you're a dreamer i feel like people think like like anybody would be lucky to have you in their life yeah and people feel like you're just kind of happy with what you have yet you're very determined to like move yourself forward so you're very um patient i feel like you're patient with like your goals maybe you don't talk about everything that you're going towards in your life but people will still feel like um like you have a good head on your shoulders people feel like you're very mature and you also know when to like leave a situation leave a room or end a conversation like before things get too um intense like i feel like people feel like you're very calm you'd rather just be quiet than argue like there are some people here, despite like this Mars energy or maybe how forward you are with like people that are close to you. A lot of people feel like they've never seen you like truly out of hand or get like really angry. And if, if they did, like they feel like it was um, warranted. So they feel like you're a very balanced person. Yeah, I like this. Um, like this is like, for example, you're the type of person that if someone had to sit on like public transit on the metro or whatever, um, and it was really full and there was a seat next to them and they had to let someone sit next to them, they wouldn't mind you sitting next to them, right? Like, they're not worried about, oh, is this a weirdo? Are they going to try and talk to me when I have headphones in? Oh my God, are they going to start eating something really smelly next to me? Like, you know what I mean? People just feel like you're chill. Um, and yeah, they don't have any worries when it comes to you. They just feel very, like, they feel relaxed around you. Um, because you kind of like have your own thing going on, um, in the best way. But yet, when you're in the friend group, like, you're very giving and, you know, you're just willing to, like, accommodate other people's as people as well. Um, you may be someone that when you're really upset, though, like, you just kind of ghost or, like, don't talk to people for a while or just get really quiet. So, like, people also feel like when you're upset, like, particularly when someone hurts your feelings or, like, makes you angry, you just get really quiet. Like, you don't say anything. Um, but they appreciate that about you. So, yeah, thank you so much for being here, card number three. I like your energy. I feel like you're very balanced and calm and, like, you know, people can't really make you feel some type of way. Like, you just have your eyes on the prize and I feel like you're just going to be very stable in your life. Maybe you're worrying about money right now or maybe you're worrying, am I always going to have this money or am I always going to be able to cultivate these riches or wealth or whatever? Am I always going to be able to, like, have this job or be stable in this home or have a good family? Whatever it is there, like, yeah. I see that. I see that for you. And other people see it too. They admire it in you. And in that way, you're very inspiring to others. They just feel like you're very calm and at peace. And maybe people don't know a lot about you, but they think about you a lot. And when they do think about you, they're like, oh, I bet they have like, I bet they have like a really nice fridge or I bet their couch is like silk or, or, or not silk suede or something. I don't know. People just like imagine you living the good life. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. And I will leave some more links in the description box below if you want to find some more pick a card, pick a pile readings. It was great doing this reading for you. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hi, card number four. You chose this queen of swords. Thank you so much for being here. I may call you card number four, group four, pile four. Just know it all means the same thing. I really appreciate you guys being here. And now we're going to get into your reading to see what do people love about you? What do people love about um, pile number four, our last group? Let's zoom out here. Okay. First card we have creativity. Oh, nice. What do people love about card number four? Three of cups. Okay. 
What do people love about our last group here? House eight. Okay. What do people love about card number four? Mmm, strength. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that card. Wow. What do people love about card number four? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. What do people love about card number four? The Fool. What do people love about you? The Three of Swords. <laughs> I like that. I like that. What do people love about card number four? The Eight of Cups. Interesting. What do people love about card number four? You got two special cards. Okay. Queen of Swords. You got the Queen of Swords twice. What do people love about card number four? The world. Okay. What do people love about you? You are so effing smart. <laughs> like, you are so effing smart. People feel like you are, like, always the smartest person in the room. You're always five, eight, ten steps ahead of, of everybody. Um, what do people love about you? They feel like you're always constantly, like, trying new things. You are um, very innovative. And what else do they love about you? People love... You have a little bit of a cold exterior. You know what I mean? You have firm boundaries. People love that about you. If you're an older woman, people love that. For example, if you're an older married woman, people love how you're like, my man, my man, my man, my husband, my husband, my husband, my husband. Paid. You know what I mean? Like people love that about you. Um, but they also love that you are, you have your, you did your own ish in life. Like I'm getting, you're not really a follower. Um, you're very creative. You could be very artistic, love music. You could have great music taste. If you're a woman and you wear dresses, people love to see you in a dress. People love to see you with your hair down. Um, particularly with like accessories in your hair or glitter on you or something like that. People love that. They just like to see you dress up. Maybe maybe you don't like, you know, pop out all the time, but when you do, people feel like, mm, oh my God. Um, people love that you have like, even if you're single, like you're not just gonna say yes to anybody that offers you like their cup of love. Like people, you have boundaries. Like I said, you have high standards and people love that about you. You're a heartbreaker. <laughs> I feel like you've broken a lot of hearts, even if you don't realize it. A lot of people have had crushes on you, dreamed about being with you, and they just feel like, mm -mm. like they would never even give me the time of day. Um, Cause look at this queen of swords, like with her hand up, like uh -uh, step back, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like people think that you have like a very high sex drive, yet they would never say it to you because they feel like you like deserve respect. Like people who respect you. Um, people feel like you're fearless. They feel like you're going to leave a legacy behind you. Um, if not already, people see you like royalty. Um, but not only that, it's not even that you have this hard exterior only. People also see you as very fun. Like you could have a friend group that is very fun, funny, whatever. You do a lot with them. And people like wish they could be in that friend group with you. Like they're like, oh my God, how how is pile number four like so cold with me? But when they're like with their friends, they're just like a whole different person. They love that about you. Um, people see you as very patient, like, um, and also you have an insane attention to detail. You learn things about people like very quickly. Um, you could have a really high tolerance with alcohol though, but people like it. Like people like drinking with you, particularly taking shots with you. Um, what else? You could live in New York. You don't have to, but you could live in New York, um, or have like a New York accent. People like that. If you don't, um, you could even, I mean, getting even some people here, maybe from like the UK or something, or maybe you have like a good fake New York or UK accent. Maybe you just randomly pop out an accent sometimes and you're like really funny and like people like that. Um, what else here? You could eat very healthy. What else? People kind of see you like if you had to dress up as something for Halloween, you'd be a god or a goddess, like something of royalty or something of like high stature, right? But with the full card, I feel like you could also be very goofy and like take risks when you need to. Um, you have like a childlike spirit to you, but it's like not everybody gets to see it. People like that. With the Eight of Cups, I'm also feeling like, yeah, I feel like you've broken hearts. You've walked away from people. Um, yeah, double eight here. You've, you're just, you've just changed People love that about you. People feel like you age very well. Like, and it, it, it's not to say you don't have wrinkles or crow's feet or anything like that. It's just say, like, people feel like you mature. Like, you mature. And with the world card here, maybe people see you traveling or they feel like you're just going, you mean the world to somebody. Like, 
you're the type of person that people would never assume to be single or like, you know, not have anything going on for them. Like no one would ever say like, you're not going to amount to anything or you don't have a good head on your shoulders or you don't know what you want. People feel like you know what you want, right? Yeah. And anybody that cannot offer you what you want or what you deserve, you're like, okay, well you can step like, you know, and people love that about you. Um, yeah. I feel like you have this like secretive energy to you. Like when people look in your eyes, they wonder what you're thinking. You have these smoldering eyes, like people feel intimidated by you because you're just watching them. Um, you also come in people's lives and you shake things up. You transform people because I'm just drawn to the butterfly on that Queen of Swords necklace right there. And then there's this house eight. Yeah, you could really look good in like baggy clothes or like sweaters or like scarves. Like um, if someone's ever seen you in gloves, like they love that for some reason. I don't know. Maybe you're a doctor. I feel like someone here has like actually gone to school or gotten like a degree. People love that about you because you don't, you're not like in your face about it. Like, you know what I mean? People feel like you're smart, but they also feel like you're smart in terms of your experience as well. I just keep getting drawn to this creativity with three on there, which is giving me Empress as well as three of cups and um, kind of like the page of cups. Like, I just feel like you're very creative. You're very dreamy. You could really like believe in like rituals in, in terms of like cleansing your crystals or maybe you love looking at the moon when it's full or maybe you have like a garden and a lot of flowers. Maybe you've given someone flowers. If you've ever given someone flowers, like they love that or maybe a lot of people want to give you flowers or give you props. I'm looking at this person. And it looks like she's kind of like clapping at the moon. Like maybe people just want to give you claps. Like they just feel like you're up they just feel like you deserve honor. Like you're just very honorable. You have a lot of integrity. And I also feel like people, people feel like you're better than them. Um, but not in like a way where it's anything that you're doing. They just look up to you. Yeah. I feel like people look up to you. Let me not say that they think you're better than them, but you're very inspiring, um, in a quiet way. You know what I mean? It's because people can't really figure you out. You're the type of person someone meets you and they think about you quite often afterwards, even if like you guys don't become friends because they just never met someone like you before. Maybe it's the way you speak. I just feel like the way you speak. You could have a very skinny nose. You don't have to. Mm. People really like when you put your hair up. Mm. When you tie your hair back, people like that. People like that you... You know, like some people like roll their eyes, like, or a little bit sassy, like they like that about you, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. And if you're a man, they love that about you even more, right? They like that you can be a little bit more connected to that side of you and, and not feel like, you know, any way about it. People feel like you'd be really good at science or math for some reason. You could be really good at like counting money or doing numbers in your head. You're very calculated. People admire that in you as well. You're calculated, but not in, like, a malicious way, you know? But people also feel like they can never, like, pull something over your head. Like, they just feel like you would just find it out. You would know before they could even, like, say or do anything to, like, um, oh, yeah. People also feel like you are, like, you have, like, a no-tolerance policy. So, you know, like, some people, they give people, like, three strikes. Three strikes, you're out at the something ball game. No, they're like, no. You know, people would never try it with you. I'm hearing, ah, ah, like, don't even try it, you know? Um... And they love that about you. People feel like you you lay down the law. Mm, I just heard you lay it down. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, I said earlier, people imagine what it would be like to like be with you in that way. I'm going to be honest, like sensually, physically, people do. But they would never say it to you. They would never say it to you. You have a lot of people that have crushes on you. But again, they just look up to you. And so they would never have the kahunas to like tell you how they feel. But um, yeah, a lot of people are attracted to your demeanor. They just feel like you you may have really good posture. Um your room could be kind of dark though like maybe you like wearing dark colors or something or maybe you just like to wear clothes that don't bring like a lot of traction to you it doesn't matter people still always look at you like um something about headbands or wearing belts like your belts always look very nice or maybe your pants just fit very well if you're a man especially if you're a woman and you wear crop tops people love that um you may look good as a woman in like pink lipstick or like pink lip gloss um, something about snow and ice, maybe someone, maybe someone lives, like, somewhere very cold, they like to see you in, like, the snow, or in white, particularly. People feel like you have a lot of feelings and emotions deep down, um, that guide you, but you just appear a little bit more logical. They respect that about you. 
that you don't like necessarily wear your heart on your sleeve because you know what that brings yeah so thank you so much for being here card number three i love doing this reading for you i feel like you are just you got it going on right so yeah thank you i'm going to leave some links in the description box below if you want to find some more pick a card pick a card pick a pile readings for my channel if you want a personal reading for me you can get that on my website email me contact me whatever you want to do and if this resonated like it please i'll see you next time bye